Last month, um, we got a surprise. We received um, a letter in, uh, in the post, and it said that our daughter, Lauren, uh, was accepted by Italia Conti, which is one of the leading drama schools in the world. And we just looked at that letter, and we said, wow, I, I mean, you know, hundreds of people are auditioning for this, and there's only, what, 20, 25 places, but somehow our daughter got it. And of course, you know, as her dad, I love telling the world and love bragging about it. Who doesn't? But, you know, she got in on the strength of her video only. And I really didn't do a good job of listening to her video. So I went to YouTube, found her video that she used to audition with, and she did a Shakespeare part, which was good but she played the part of a suicidal girl that was so convincing that as her father, I could barely watch her because she took on a completely different character and became one with another character that wasn't my daughter, but it was her. And it got me thinking. I said, you know, what does acting have to do with the Bible? And I Googled acting in the Bible and just came up with some kind of bland things that didn't really excite me. But as I was just reading the Bible, suddenly I said, you know what? You know, there is a place for acting. And, and, and I love actors. You know, I love, I saw the King's Speech. I saw, you know, Nigel Day-Lewis in Lincoln. I mean, he's, here's a British man that could act more American than I can act. And when he took on that role, you know, he literally became Lincoln and started when he texted his friends, he would a end it with an A for Abraham because he got so much into his character. Now, is there a place? Are we actors? And I have this wonderful co quote by Tony Greco, who is one of the leading acting teachers in America, and he says this, he says this, if you really decide to go where these great roles will take you, okay, he's talking about great roles. For example, when Nigel Day-Lewis played Lincoln, it changed him. It changed Nigel himself. And great roles have a habit of changing you. So, let's, so if you really decide to go where these great roles will take you, then you come out of them a changed person. You come out of them different because when an audience sees a great role, it should make them question their own lives. And when an actor takes on a great role, it should make them question their lives. And for example, I don't know if you saw this new Bible series where a Portuguese actor plays Jesus. And on television, he gave his testimony. He said, my life was changed because I played Jesus. Now that's obvious. We know that we have to act the part. We have to become one with Jesus, that we have to be, you know, do a good job. And what I'm impressed with is people like Nigel Day-Lewis, et cetera, they spend you know, on and off screen. They spend hours and hours getting into their character. And as Christians, how much time do we spend, like an actor, getting into the character of Jesus? Even the Apostle Paul says, hey, follow me as I follow Jesus. So there's another role. But there's another surprising role that I didn't know. And, and then Paul pleads to the Galatians. He says, I plead with you, brothers and sisters, I became, I beca you know, become like me because I became like you. I said, wow, is the Apostle Paul an actor? I mean, he says, you know, in 1 Corinthians, he says, you know, I become all things to all people. Those who are weak, have become weak. Those who are strong, I become strong. You know, those that are under the law, as one is under the law, but I'm under the law of Christ. You know, and when is the last time that I or you, you know, have become like somebody else in order to get into their world and in order to minister the gospel to them? So I want to encourage you okay, and myself, to take on a great role of becoming like Jesus, becoming like the Apostle Paul, but also becoming like the people that you're ministering to so that you can experience their world and bring the glorious good news into their life.